G'day, my name's Kelvin and I'm a product marketing manager for Bitbucket here at Alassie. Now, perhaps you're brand new to Git or maybe you're familiar with another Git platform. Either way, you're in luck. I'm here to give you a tour of Bitbucket's user interface. Now, maybe you're working on your projects or want to understand how to work with your repositories. Maybe you just want to set up Bitbucket properly. Either way, I'm going to explore Bitbucket's user interface with you to help you and your team get up and running and working as quickly as possible. Let's get started. So as you can see here, this is the Your Work screen. And it's the screen you'll see whenever you log into Bitbucket for the first time. And the work here is categorized into three buckets. Pull requests for you to review, pull requests that you've created, and repositories that you've recently visited. Now there's lots of contextual information here. What's going on, who is involved, and what stage of the process is it? Uh, the great thing about this particular screen is it's customizable. So you can filter, for instance, to hide the pull requests that need your review so that you're hiding pull requests with broken builds or have open tasks or that already have your approval. Same with the bottom here with repositories. You can filter them by recently viewed or last updated. Now let's take a look at each of the items on the left-hand side of the screen. So in the repositories section, you have a list of all the repositories that are available to you. You can filter your repositories by project, by owner, or even repositories that you're watching. You can also search for repositories if you know the name of them too. Really useful if you have a lot of repositories in your team that you're working on at a particular point in time. So this screen, much like the Your Work screen, has lots of contextual information. When it was last updated, whether the builds are green, a description if they have them. And if I quickly have a look in one of these repositories, you can see lots of information here about the files that are within this particular repository. And on the left-hand side here, the commits that have been made, who made it, when they made it, what the commit message was, any branches that are associated with this particular repository are available here as well. Any pull requests that are here. And if you're using continuous integration or continuous delivery uh, with Bitbucket pipelines, you can have all that information there about all of the builds that are run. And again, lots of contextual information here about uh, what's happened, who's done it, uh, and when it happened. More importantly, at the bottom, you have the settings for this particular repository. So here's a place where you can manage everything for your repository, whether it be the name of it, who has access to it, the branch permissions that are there as well, really useful for those who have more complex workflows. You can lock down who can commit to a particular uh, repository here. For your pull requests themselves, you can set default reviewers. And if you want, you can also set up your pipelines and deployments too. So let's go back to the main screen and let's take a look at our projects. Projects are essentially a grouping of repositories. Really useful for teams who have a lot of repositories that they're working with at a particular point in time. Very easy to group them under one project name. As you can see here, we have the projects that are available to me and my team a short description of each. And if I were to click into one of these now, you'll see a list of the repositories associated with this uh, project, some contextual information about each repository, and on the right-hand side here, really easy for me to add additional repositories to this particular project as well. So those are our projects. Let's go back to our main menu and have a look at pull requests. Pull requests are where code review happens in Bitbucket. As you can see on this screen, I have a list of all the pull requests that I'm currently reviewing. And I have a lot of filterable options here as well. I can look at the pull requests that I'm watching, the pull requests that I've actually created myself, and also the pull requests that are associated with the teams I'm a part of. Now, when I have a look at one of these pull requests in particular, it gives me lots of information about the changes that have been made that are ready to be merged back into the repository. Who made the changes? what changes they've actually made, as well as a diff of the actual files themselves that have been changed and what they've changed within each. So as a review, it's really easy for me to have a look and see everything that's happened. And you can see in the top right-hand corner here, I can approve or, or unapprove as necessary. So those are pull requests in Bitbucket. Let's have a look at the main screen and the options on the left-hand side again. And let's take a look at issues. 
Issues are a great way for you to break up larger chunks of work into more manageable pieces and assign them to your team or as an individual. Now, most people integrate Bitbucket with the likes of Jira software or Trello to do this. But if you wanna work on more lightweight issues, Bitbucket provides this functionality here. And you can see all of the issues that are assigned to you, that you've reported, you're participating in, watching, or even the issues that are associated with your team. So those are issues. Let's have a look at snippets. Snippets are a great way for you to share and reuse your code amongst your team or even amongst yourself. Uh, they're great because you can share and reuse really important bits of information uh, across your repositories. Makes it really easy for you to share that knowledge and to reuse code uh, and saves you a little bit of time as well. You can filter by snippets you've created, snippets you're watching, and also snippets that are associated with your team. So those are the menu items that we've covered on the left-hand side, but you'll see a number of icons on the left as well. Let's take a look at the first one, search. Now search is what it says in the box. You can search for repositories, code, and more. And if I were to quickly type in a search term, you can see it immediately comes up with a number of results uh, in terms of pull requests that match my search query. And if I have a look here, I can look at all of the code matches that match my search query and it lists everything that I have access to. And I can refine by the team I'm a part of, as well as refine with a number of modifiers as well. So I can get really complex and granular with my search terms uh, if I need to. So that's search. If I go back here, let's take a look at our next icon, the plus icon. So the plus icon here is really where you create things in Bitbucket. If I open this menu, you can see here I can create a repository, a team, a project, a snippet, or I can even import a repository as well. The great thing about this is this menu is context sensitive. If I were to go back here and take a look at one of the repositories, when I click on the plus icon again, you can see a number of different options for me to get to work. I can clone the repository, create a branch or pull request, and even compare branches or tags as well. Now let's go back here and at the bottom left hand side here you'll have your avatar so your avatar is where your profile and settings are located you can see here by clicking on the avatar i can have a look at the teams that i'm a part of I can view my profile as well as my bitbucket settings so let's take a look at my profile right now my profile contains all of the repositories that i am allowed to or have access to you can see things earlier that we've already covered uh, I can see my snippets and the teams that I'm a part of. More importantly, I can have a look at my settings too. Now the settings section here gives me a whole number of things that I can look at. I can have a look at the, my plan uh, and my billing options, access management in terms of who has access to or is part of my team, SSH keys and two-step verification, as well as allowing me to try new features from Atlassian Labs, take a look at the apps available in the marketplace, as well as start looking at some of my uh, CI, CD, or at least Bitbucket pipelines variables that are available to me as well. So lots of options there for me to have a look at, really useful for me when I'm starting my team or at least managing access to my work as well. So that's Bitbucket. We've explored how to get work done, set up and manage your repositories, and to collaborate with your team. Happy coding.